Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Traveling Gun. My name is Thomas. I am a regional flight attendant. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to all my returning subscribers. I do appreciate it. And we are growing and growing and growing. Uh, today, I begin a five day trip, which I begin as per usual with the deadhead to Norfolk. And I sit for two and a half hours in Norfolk, and then I go to LaGuardia, and then I end in Rochester tonight around 10 30, 11 ish. I'm not for sure, but it's late. But I have a late report tomorrow. So um, I got a lot done in my little two days off. So I cleared the rest of, well, partially the rest of my land off. The other part I'm gonna leave to the water company when they come put that easement on my property for them to clean it off. I'm not gonna do the work for them. They gonna have to do the work themselves. And I cleared it off so I can kinda, I just got tired of it and I wanted to expand my garden for the summertime. So I'm halfway done with that. But I need to get on the shuttle. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later on once I get to Rochester. Hello, everybody. So I've made it here to Rochester. A very uneventful day today. Um, I'm not really sleepy. I slept on the dead end to Norfolk and we sat for three hours. And now we're here in New York. It's going on midnight almost. Um, gym is open 24 hours, so I'm going to go down and actually get a workout in. I don't have to report again, like I said, until our van is at 425 in the afternoon tomorrow. So I have pretty much all day to sleep. But guess what? I think I'm going to go to get, try to get at least a good eight hours of solid sleep. Um, there's no free breakfast here, so I'll get up and eat what I brought. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning once I get up for day two. How you doing, everybody? Uh, today is day two. Um, it's going on a little bit before four o'clock. My van is not until um, 4.25. So I slept for probably like nine hours last night. I didn't go to bed until probably like three in the morning. So I got a lot of sleep. Today is just only a two leg day, but I still end up at, like done at 10 o'clock. I go from Rochester to JFK and then I don't have a city in between. I go from JFK to Indianapolis and I end in Indianapolis tonight. So it is President's Day. I expect the flights to be kind of full because people are probably going back to work and things like that from the holiday weekend. Um, other than that, you know, that's all that I have for you all today. Um, you know, uh, make sure you take care of yourselves. And everybody knows that I know that firsthand better than anybody, especially with the passing of my dad and whatnot, you know, and I took the time that I needed. Of course, do you have days here and there? Sure you do. But um, like if I needed more time to take for myself, I could use personal days, but I don't get paid for personal days. Um, I don't know if I could use my sick days, which I have like two months worth of sick days, but I kind of always wanted to save my sick days just in case I have a real like accident. Like let's say for instance, God forbid, I break my leg. That's almost four weeks to six weeks out and I can use my sick days for that. But if I felt that I wasn't mentally ready, like my mom wasn't here, that I'm a danger or a safety hazard to people on board, I would definitely take the personal days. But that's how it works. I don't know how anybody else company works, but I can use personal days. I just don't get paid for personal days. So, But other than that, I'll see you guys a little bit later on once I get to Indianapolis, just in case anything changes, I'll keep you updated. So then I'm gonna just get the rest of my stuff packed up and I'll see you a little bit later. to Indianapolis is going on. What time is it? It's about 11 o'clock almost. Um, tomorrow's, it's, this is a shorter overnight, I think like 11 hours, but my van is at 10.53 tomorrow. So um, I'm gonna go to bed a little bit early tonight. Well, basically, in a few moments, once I take a shower and kind of wind down, get up tomorrow, try to work out before breakfast and then eat breakfast and then come back up, take a shower and get ready for, for the van tomorrow. Today's flights, we were full. First time in a long time I've had um, a flight that was oversold 
and they were trying to get volunteers to take um, a later flight, which would be tomorrow morning, and they were offering money. So all my flights today were full, and on the flight from Indianapolis to here, we almost ran out of uh, seatbelt extenders to give out. So luckily we were in base, and they brought us more seatbelt extenders. So because they cannot use the ones that have demo on it that we demo during the demonstration. They can't use those. But um, other than that, that's all. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So I, I told you all about the uniforms, right? So my two pants that I originally had, one split from the rooter to the tutor, so I had to take that to the tailor lady. And the other one, my zipper broke off, broke some kind of way, and I, she has it. So it was gonna take her like a week or something. So I didn't worry about it because I was like, I have two pair of pants that I just bought. So tell me why I get my pair of pants. They asked for your measurements and everything. They gave it to them exactly. They got everything right. Like the crotch area is not hanging down. Usually, I guess that's what the inseam. And, but the bottom is baggy. It's like a parachute. So I have to take those back to get those redone, tailored. And um, my other pants basically just was regular. They just was too way too big for me. So I have to take send those back to get another size. But we get reimbursed for stuff that we have to alter. You just have to keep your receipt and upload it to a little app and everything like that. So we do get reimbursed for it. But other than that, I'm finna get ready and wind down and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning once I get up for day. Good morning, everybody. Today is day three. Um, I got up to go to breakfast this morning and uh, I guess when I went down there, you know, it said on the little app that is continental breakfast. They basically ran out of breakfast, so they really made like just sandwiches. So all I had this morning was some fruit for breakfast. And uh, the lady was like, oh, nobody told you? Yeah, we don't continue to keep making breakfast. So yeah, that would be nice to tell people. But I guess a lot of, uh, got a lot of hotels just assume that other flight attendants let other flight attendants know that, hey, they don't continue to make breakfast. Once they run out, they're out. Um, I just I got up this morning and I started watching uh, vlogs from other flight attendants. Fly with a guy just dropped his Cabo vlog. Go check that out if you want to laugh and have a good time and live vicariously in Cabo through him. But um, other than that, today is three three legs. I go back to JFK, sit for two and a half hours. I do a Charlotte turn. No, I'll take that back. I go to LaGuardia and sit in LaGuardia for two and a half hours and do a Charlotte Turner in, up in LaGuardia tonight around nine o'clock. It is raining, but there's no delays on us. So that's a good thing. And other than that, I'll see you guys a little bit later on. Let me get down to this van and I'll see you once I get to LaGuardia tonight. delayed here in Charlotte um, don't know why I didn't get a notification but they pushed back our flight time for whatever reason we were supposed to just have a quick turn and go back to LaGuardia but now I don't get to LaGuardia until almost midnight and they're not going to stay my day because we're still inside the legal rest limit but I'll talk to you once I get to LaGuardia. I want you to see what time it is 1 we were delayed three hours in Charlotte because of weather and we end up getting here around a little bit after midnight. So and then we had to wait for a find the gate agent to connect the jet bridge, get to the hotel. There's crews checking in already before us. Um, and she didn't, you know, she was by herself and she was kind of flustered because there were so many people, you know, at one time she was just trying to get us out as quick as possible. And, you know, get to my room, key doesn't work, have to go all the way back downstairs. And boom, so we're here. My van time is at 10.30, so I have to be back up at 9.30. Um, so I'm going to keep this brief and short, and i see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to bed because I am tired. So see you guys tomorrow for day four. Good morning, everybody. Today is day four. Um, yesterday, I don't think I told you all, yesterday was a 14-hour duty day yesterday with 10.01 rest. And then today is a 12 hour duty day. Luckily for us, we're just doing short legs. Um, New York does not do 200s anymore. So there's no 200s going in and out of New York. So now we are doing these little small um, airports right outside of New York now with the 900. Like today I go to Rusa, 
uh, Massachusetts, which it looks like Worcester, but they pronounce it Worcester, Albany, New York, and back. And then I think I end up in Columbus tonight around 11 o'clock. So most likely I won't get back to the room again until about 12. So it is what it is. Um, just the weather was crazy yesterday in New York and a lot of flights were delayed. There was a flight going to Charlottesville, Virginia that didn't leave until 1 a.m. So that's how bad it was and backed up here in New York yesterday. Um, but other than that, I need to get ready and go down to this van. I have about 10 minutes to get down there. I'm gonna check the room one more time to make sure I don't forget anything in this hotel because I don't come back to this particular hotel in New York for not even next month. So I won't be able to get it back again. So I'll see you guys a little bit later on once I get to Columbia. South. <laughs> Hello everybody, so I made it here to Columbia. Um, today was very uneventful. Two short legs to Woch, uh, Rooster and Albany, 25 minutes both ways. Then today's flight from Columbia to, I mean, from LaGuardia to Columbia was an hour and a half. So it wasn't that bad of a day, just we started late and then it you know, ended late. So it's going on about 11.30 right now. Um, on, our, on our plane here from LaGuardia to Columbia, the maintenance person, whoever did it, had one job and one job only. So the PBS was written up, which is what do, does our safety demo. And I played it and it worked just fine. But then after kept looking at it, I was like, wait a minute. So what happened was they put a 200 PBS on it instead of a 900 PBS on it. And the difference is on a 200, the safety features as far as there's four overhead, over wing exits on a 900 versus a 200 there's only two and we didn't want to play that in you know let's just say emergency happens people think there's only two overwing exits so i just read the announcements but other than that everything went smoothly um i'm gonna get ready and go to bed tomorrow's my seven year old the youngest birthday um i go home tomorrow so one leg one and done i'm done by one o'clock and get to celebrate our birthday because i'm off for a few days after that so i'll see you guys tomorrow once I get up for go. Good morning, everybody. Today is go home day finally. And today is my youngest daughter's birthday. Uh, she turned seven today. So I get to spend time with her, celebrate her birthday. So it worked out fine for this five day and I don't get to miss anything um, whatsoever. But um, other than that, I slept really well last night. I got up, ate breakfast and today is easy. One leg day is no service for me because I'm in the back. So we don't have a service because it's under 250 miles from Columbia, South Carolina to Atlanta. And then I'm done. I'm debating if I should go to the crew room and get my new badge because my badge expires on the 28th because after this trip, I don't necessarily have a trip. I picked up reserve days and they might not call me and I might have to just make a separate trip up to the, to the airport just to get my uh badge but it's just like man i just want to go home i don't want to have to walk all the way down to the crew room and then come all the way back and then go to my car <sighs> i don't know what to do i think i'm gonna just go ahead and do it get out the way versus trying to come because i know i'm not gonna feel like coming back up to the airport yeah i'm gonna just go get it while i'm at the airport so i'll see you guys a little bit later on to close out the video once i get home Hello everybody, I made it home, um, end of this five day. The one leg was very uneventful. Obviously I went, changed clothes, got a haircut, and just gonna enjoy my two days off. And I pick up, I picked up three days of reserve, so hopefully they don't use me. That's what I'm banking on, that they don't use me. And that's why I picked up at the end of the month, so that the probability of me getting a call is very, very low. So probably the next time you see me, hopefully will be when I start my three day trip in March. So as always, hug on the ones that you love, tell the ones that you love that you love them. I'm out.